All right, Mr. Tom, I hope you're ready. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, great. So, Mr. Tom, let's start the test with part number one. And today we're going to be talking, we, we will talk about future. Okay? So, question number one, part one, Mr. Tom. What job would you like to have 10 years from now and why? I want to be a teacher because teacher can um, uh, share knowledge to the students and also I can correct, uh, motivate and uh, assess the students. I think uh, teacher um, it can make contributions to the society. I can't hear you. Sorry, I can't hear you. I'm really sorry. My microphone was on mute. Now I hope you can hear me now. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I, I can hear you now. All right. So the question is, question number two, how, use, how useful will English be for your future? If yes, then why? If no, then why not? English will play a key role in my uh, career uh, career uh, because English can broaden my horizon. English is a for knowledge and information. Also, I can communicate with the foreigners to uh, share our knowledge, our information. To share our knowledge and... Uh, to share I our knowledge and explore the things which are not explored yet or let's say to explore to to explore more areas of life uh, to explore more areas of life very good very good english will not only help me to improve my language but also it will help me, uh, or let's say, but also it will create a bridge between me and the outside world. So you see, remember the correlative conjunctions that we studied together. And in the correlative conjunctions, we were having some pair, pair words like uh, uh, not only, but also neither, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I... Yeah. I should use more, more of the conjunctions in my test. Yeah, conjunctions, all right? So all four all four conjunctions, all right? Tom, all Yeah, all yeah, so Tom, all four conjunctions, uh coordinating, correlating, correlating, uh subordinating and conjunctive adverbs. Four four of them, okay? Practice four of them okay. and use them, okay? Okay. All right, good. Okay, question number three. How much traveling do you hope to do in future? If yes, then why? If no, then why not? I want to have uh, travel at, at least uh, one or two times a year. Because traveling can broaden my horizon and to pick my curiosity about new places, I can learn how people live in the uh, in the new places. Okay, uh, this could th this answer could have been answered more nicely if you maybe have explained that what horizons of yours are going to be broadened up. Okay what horizons will it broad or broaden up 
no, for example, any particular oh, thing. For, okay. for example, for example, it might help you to explore different cultures around the world. It might help you to uh, see, assess how different people are living in different geographic locations, and uh, it will, it it it, it could bring uh, opportunities to you regarding to your work. Uh, maybe trying different food around the world as per their geographic location and their uh, value, right? So maybe by telling a little bit more examples, this thing could have been said in a, in a much nicer way. But just saying, all right, here, this, this is a tip from my side. Okay, I know your meaning. Uh, I, I should not only give the opinions, but also the examples to support the opinion that Absolutely. is more perfect for me. Very good. Very good. You got it right. You got you just, you just got it right, man. Uh, okay, okay. I know. I will okay. practice it. All right, sir. So, uh, last question. How do you think your life will change in future? If yes, then why? And uh, if no, then why not? And remember one thing, Tom. Whenever I'm saying why and why, if yes, then why, if not, then why not? So, this why and why not, examiner will not say. Because this is given only in the practice notes, just to help the student in order to make him understand this thing, that you should always come with a reason, with, with, with a because factor. You get, you get what I'm saying? For example, let me show you. For example, let me show you. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. Yeah, let me show you. Check this out. See, this is the book, right? This is. These are the notes from where I'm asking you questions. You see, in the brackets, there's always written why, why not, why, why not, why, why not. So, doesn't matter. Maybe you are. You're not always. You all. You don't always. I want to answer. Uh, as per yes, maybe you want to say no sometimes as well. So with with that, we all you always have to give a reason. So the thing is that that in every answer, you also have to give a reason that why. Okay. Okay, I know your meaning because yeah. this is just a language test, not the telling the truth. So I both uh, yes answer or no answer is okay. Just uh, give reason and give example. Exactly. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Exactly. Whether it's a yes, whether it's a positive answer, whether it's a or it's a negative answer, doesn't matter. You all, you all, you should give a reason. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I know. Okay. The last question. I'm again going to repeat the question for you. How do you think okay. your life will change in future? Mm, I think my future will change a lot in the future. Firstly, uh, I like to uh, challenge myself. Mm, I like to uh, uh, develop my problem-solving skills. Secondly, I think maybe I will marry in the future and I will become a husband or a father. So I think my, my life in the future will change a lot. Wow, that was great. <laughs> Good. Okay, that was end of part one. Now, part two. Now, in order to do part two, let me send you the questions and the cue card in the chat box. Okay. All right, so the question is, describe a book that you enjoyed reading because you had to think a lot. Question one, what this book was, Question two, why you decided to read it? Question three, what reading this book made you think about? Question number four, the last question, explain why you enjoyed reading this book. All right. Uh, All right. You have uh, one minute to think about it and your one minute starts now.
Okay, Tom, the time's up. I hope you're ready. Okay. So, mm. you have two minutes to answer, and your time starts now. The book I enjoyed reading is The History of Roma. Roma. Mm. Uh, because I am a fan of uh, Kaiser Za. Uh, so I am interested in the history of uh, Roma. Uh, I read uh, the I read the book uh, firstly in the school library when I was a freshman. Mm. I think uh, nowadays many social problems are not new, but but uh, they are we can but it mirrors mirrors uh, in the ancient. Uh, uh, history, the Roman history can give us a symbol of how to solve the nowadays pro social problems. Mm. I enjoyed reading it because I learned more about the history details of uh, of the ancient Europe, and I learned mm, and I learned the. Uh, landmark the history and the culture of ancient ages i think uh, it's essential for me to um, learn history because history is a, a, a mirror uh, uh, yes yes yes, yes go yes, on so. go on go on you still have time I love learning. I love learning history. I can know the culture of ancient years and I know the uh, story of heroes. Okay. Uh, All right. The time's up. The two minutes are up. Okay. Can you see me? Yes, I can. I can hear. I can see you. Okay. Good. So, Tom, uh, let me tell you something that. Uh, uh, for a moment, I felt that I lost the track. For example, me as a listener, uh, I kind of, I kind of lost my interest in in listening you. And why did that happen? Look, your coherence was your co your coherence was, I would say, it was just okay. Your fluency was amazing. Uh, your grammar, your vocabulary, your pronunciation, no for no problem so far. Vocabulary it was down. It was low. Vocabulary was low. But. Uh, it's also really important to catch to catch the interest of your audience to catch the interest of your listener for example for example tom you have never been to my country pakistan but uh, and 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 i'm yeah. and, I, and i'm given responsibility to tell you about my country to tell you in a way that you don't lose interest but instead you enjoy listening to the whole thing for example let me tell you about pakistan something if you come to Pakistan one day as a tourist, you're gonna be you will have two options. Either you want to travel to the north of Pakistan, where you will find a lot of mountains, cold weather, and amazing scenery, or you will travel to south southern Pakistan, the south part of Pakistan, where I live right now, and uh, where you will find maybe deserts, hot summer, and let's say tropical kind of weather. And sea as well, all right, and the ocean, sea, all right, sea view, beach. So that's so the easiest way I can tell you to come and travel to Pakistan. But now that really depends on you that what kind of, uh, let's say, weather your body would like to adopt. Now, this was me telling you one way. Now, if I tell you the same thing in this way that, oh, yeah, you know, Tom, uh, pa Pakistan is a very small country, man. I mean, like, you know, you come here, you will enjoy a couple of uh, things here. If you want to enjoy, you go to north. If you want to enjoy uh, cold weather, you go there. You find a lot of the different things there as well. A lot of people there as well. But uh, I don't know whether how their behavior is going to be with you. I really don't. I don't have an idea because I haven't been in that area that much. And if you want to, let's say, enjoy something hot or summer like, uh, come just come to the uh, southern part of Pakistan and you can like you know enjoy a couple of things there. Now, now you tell me which version was better understandable. The previous one or this one? The former. 
the first one, right? The first one. Uh, 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 yeah, I have interest in the description of the former. Yeah. So actually, uh, I was also being excited. I was also telling you in a very excited way, which I was also enjoying to tell you that right. You know, this is that. This is that. If you go there, you will get this. If you go there, you get this. And you as a and you as my listener, you as my audience, you are not losing your interest. So this is really important thing that speaking beautiful English. In amazing accent, great vocabulary is not everything. But if you catch the attention of your listener and uh, you you understand what your audience want to hear, then you are considered as a good speaker in any language, whether Chinese, French, German, English, whatever language you to talk about. Okay. So it's just a tip from my side. So, so how can you overcome to this problem? Okay. So how can you overcome to this problem? Now let's talk about the solution, right? You can overcome to this problem by maybe sometimes you want to go slow. Maybe sometimes you want to categorize things. Okay. Maybe sometimes you want to categorize things. Okay. Tell me like a story. Okay. For example, uh, what this book was, why you decided to read it, and reading what and what reading this book made you think about, and explain why you enjoyed reading this book. Now, for example, it's not necessary that I always uh, I should always start, let's say, with uh, the information exact with, with the exact information that they are asking in the question prompt. Maybe I want to start a little bit dramatically or a little bit philosophically. For example, Mr. Tom, for example, that uh, uh, so today I would like to really tell you about a book that has really changed my perspective of uh, thinking about the other books that I read nowadays and how do I actually connect them with my life. So I believe that everyone has difficult times in their life and uh, to overcome those difficult times, they usually adopt a hobby or an activity or they would really like to go somewhere in order to overcome this feeling so something similar I did but by starting to read a book the name of the book is this is that and then you start telling about whatever preparation you have did but the starting is really really matters a lot now you are listening to me right you were your I was catching your attention right now so yep maybe 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 you should give a little bit, a little bit more philosophical uh, starting, in order to you know sound a little bit more better. Yes, Tom, you get it. Uh, yes, I got your meaning. So I maybe I can have some uh, uh, some pre preparing passages before I into before I say the name of the book. First, I should attract uh, the listeners' uh, interests. Attention, then, interest. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And then tell, and then tell the book the book's name and why you like it or when you when you read it and so on. Absolutely, absolutely. That that that, that is the exact thing that I want you to do. Okay. 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 All right. Now, the last uh, part, part three. So you have two topics. Uh, no, topic number one, children and reading. Topic number two, electronic books. Which one would you choose? Uh, uh, first. Okay. Children and reading. Okay. Question number one. What are the most popular types of children's books in your country? Hmm. It's cartoons. Uh, reading cartoon books is a good way to relax, and it is also a good way to learn knowledge um, for the children. Parents often always buy uh, cartoon books because it uh, uh, and the parents can remember the happiness uh, when they when they are young. Okay. All right. That's good. Okay. 
Okay, question number two. What are the benefits of parents reading books to their children? Uh, uh, sorry, there is uh, something wrong with the screen. Uh, can you repeat the uh, question? Yeah, I, I think your phone is ringing. Uh, yeah, there is some wrong when uh, when the when the voice. Uh, no, it uh, it is correct now. Okay, all right. So, question number two: What are the benefits of parents reading books to their children? Hmm. The first advantage is uh, parents can spend uh, time when the children to make a more stable parents-children relationship. It is a good way to uh, share happiness. Secondly, I think uh, uh, parents reading books uh, for children can make children improve their uh, concentration, con con quite concrete concentration. Okay. Okay, the last question. Should parents always let children choose the books they read? Mm. Depends. Uh, it really depends. I think, uh, it depends. Or you can or you should say it, it depends. It depends. It depends. Mm. Mm, if the children have the mm, have the enough knowledge to choose uh, what he what he or she read, parents can allow the children to read uh, whatever uh, he or she want to read. But sometimes I think children are invulnerable to uh, the offensive images on magazines or newspapers. Also, children are. Don't have the ability to distinguish right and wrong at this in this at this sequence at this uh, 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 situation at this time. Uh, parents should choose what to read, not not depend on the children's choice. Okay. Uh. Can I ask you question number two once again? What are the okay. benefits? What are the benefits of parents reading books to their children? And look and listen, Tom. You can also give a compliment to the teacher about the question. Where hmm, that's a difficult question. That's an interesting question. It's a really good question. Uh, that's a confusing question. You can give a compliment as per the question to the examiner as well. Okay, just like a uh, normal conversation. Absolutely. Uh, uh, can I start now? Please. Um, it's a very interesting question because when I was young, uh, my parents read books to me. Uh, I think uh, there are several advantages. Uh, the first advantage is because, uh, it is a good way to um, build uh, a stable uh, relationship between the parents and the children. Uh, secondly, uh, reading reading books to the children um, can make children uh, uh, can improve children's uh, concentra concentration on the on on the things. Uh, the third, thirdly, um, it is a good way to uh, improve children's ima ima imagination. Uh, uh, reading instead, uh, uh, parents reading instead of uh, uh, looking read read by children themselves. Uh, it is a good way to improve their imagination. Excellent. Very good. Very good.
Okay, so we finally have the score here. So let me share your score with you. Okay, so in the first part, in the first part, your score is uh, 6.95, which is which is seven, which is seven actually. Okay, and the, and in the second okay. one again 6.8, which is seven. And in the part three, it's 6.93, which I consider as seven. And in the end, your overall score is 6.894, which I, 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 I will just consider it seven, to be honest with you, okay? So yes, that has been your performance so okay. far. Yep, that has been your performance so far. And uh, so yeah, let's see what happens now. Best wishes for the exam. But let's say if you really want to... Uh, Steady before the exams. So um, yep, the classes are always here for you. I'm always here for you. No, no, no problem at all. Okay, okay. Uh, it is me. It is it is me. Should it is I should uh say uh say 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 thank you because you help me grow my spoken uh, skills. And it is my first time to speak with foreigners, especially uh, foreign people in Pakistan. I have yeah. never been there, and I will. I think I will uh, visit there uh, someday. Inshallah, inshallah, uh, one day, one day, yeah. my brother, inshallah, inshallah, one day, my friend, no problem at all. And I can see that you are a very hardworking student, and uh, may God always be with you, and you always succeed with your motivation. Because you are a motivated okay. guy and you learn really fast. All right, Tom. Then goodbye. See you. Bye best bye. best bye wishes. Bye. See you. See you. Zaijin. Zaijin. Okay, I will see you in the review. Bye bye. Perfect. Bye bye. Perfect. Zaijin. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>